welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Memory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you an FCS playoff matchup preview presented by AnyGivenSaturday.com between the Eastern Illinois Panthers and the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Now let's look at Eastern Illinois in this ball game and let's start with their defense. The secondary play has to come ready to play versus South Dakota State's newfound passing attack. And we know they have a talented quarterback in Austin Sumner, but realistically, you want to make this game Austin Sumner versus Jimmy Garoppolo, your outstanding Walter Payton Award candidate quarterback. Make these guys one dimensional, make them throw the football and it plays right into your hands of being able to get pressure on the QB. And on offense, the running back, Jake Walker, involve him in the, in the passing game. Get him involved in those screens, which are just a long extension of the running game, and you can have some success. Now you look at South Dakota State in this matchup, and that defensive line has to be licking their chops, ready to go against that Panthers offensive line. I think that's an advantage for South Dakota State. They can get pressure on the QB, they can collapse the pocket, or they can easily force Garoppolo on the move. I think that's a big advantage. And they want to slow down the game on offense. Make this game a boring game. Slow the game down, run the football. We know you have an outstanding tailback, one of the best tailbacks in the FCS, who's also a Walter Payton candidate. So you look at the way you can win this game, getting pass rush, getting Eastern Illinois off the football field, and slowing the game down on your own offense. Huge battle right here. Great matchup in round one of the FCS playoffs. I actually like South Dakota State. Pass rush is key going against a passing offense. And Austin Sumner's passing has been in very improved over the last three or four weeks. This guy has been playing some great football, and I think that balance they have right now on offense will prove to be too much for Eastern Illinois to handle.